internet and Photoshop first and then painting it versus um, making it on the computer, make, painting it and then putting it on the computer has some sort of effect because I remember this was in fourth grade. I remember doing this in fourth grade before Photoshop was around. There was some little kids
Right. right. And so, and I think from my landscape architecture perspective, I think of, you know, when you make a mark in the earth with a shovel, it's a certain kind of gesture. And then when you take a certain kind of machinery, it might have certain kinds of grooves. It's still technology. And one day it will be old. Right. Then one day it was really new. Right. Like the paintbrush. Absolutely. And so that's my perspective. I think I hear you all and you're saying, or the people that have said, you know, that there's this loss of the surface quality. And I think that's really true. But then maybe the way we framework will become more, more important digital technology and the translation of it. And so maybe that framing and that surface will, something new will come about. And it'll sort of
and then doing a painting of the silk screen and then taking a picture of it and putting it on our website. And, and, and it's all, all these translations and every step of the way it changes. And it, it's like going from English to French to German back to English again or, or playing telephone. You're, you're going to have changes. And I'm learning to embrace every stage of it as, as its own thing. And I'm just interested in, in how it shifts as you go from one medium to the next. Um, going uh, or talking about this mechanical process or digital reproductions, I included William Betts up here, who's also a Houston artist. My time in Houston, I, I feel like I was so influenced by a lot of the artists that were there. And William Betts uh, actually invented a machine and the software to mechanically create his work. This piece is from his Moray series, and they're perfect lines that are offset just enough to give this Moray effect in his painting. Um, his current work are, are dots, and you can go to the next slide. This is him in his studio, and I was fortunate enough when I was there to be able to go into the studio and see his process. But this um, unit here actually plots the paint and paints the image. And he wrote all the software for this. Um, you can go to the next one, and it's a close-up of oh, wow. uh, the dots that, that he does, too. And right now, he's working with um, surveillance cameras and images from surveillance cameras and reproducing them in these dot images. And he's experimenting with different materials.